What's up guys, this is Lucas, the Candyman Can't here, and if you guys are regular subscribers, you will know I made a video about this uh, a few days ago. I didn't like how it turned out, so I'm redoing it, but as you guys can see from the title, I am in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, uh, so let's get started with top 5 features. This is in no particular list. Coming in at number 5, we have paintball effects. Um, hit the start button on the controller when you're at the main menu, and you can toggle on paintball effects, which is really cool. Uh... By the way, these aren't in any particular order, I just decided to list them, so here we go. You can also do it in-game by hitting the uh, options and toggling paintball effects. And when you actually shoot people, you'll see some green paint splatter, as you'll see right here. Uh, there's a little paint that splatters down. I'll try to get some more close-up shots because uh, this is actually really far, really far distance. Um, so here, this you'll be able to see the paint splatter against the wall, which is really cool. I suppose this is instead of blood, and there would actually be blood on the wall. I'm not too familiar with this, though. Um, here you'll see there's like paint splattered all over the ground, which is kind of cool. It's a cool Easter egg that the developers decided to put in. Um, it's I was really psyched when I found this, but that's if. Sorry if I got a cut, little cut off there, guys. But anyways, coming in at number four, or the number four one on our list is actually you can go to the firing range. So if you go into your creative class and you saw and you hit the start button. Uh, it will take you to the firing range for that class. You can change your class by just going into a different class and hitting the start button and it will also load up the firing range. Uh, you can do this when you're in actually a lobby as well. I'm at the main menu, the multiplayer menu right now. And it will, uh, basically you can test out how a gun will work. The targets have 100 health so it, they'll be just like the uh, players in game which is really cool so you can test the damage, you can use grenades, uh, you can use your exo ability, you can use all that stuff and it'll also give you a timer for how long you've been in there. Uh, as you see if you scroll down to a different class you can actually uh, go into the firing range for that class and it will load a different gun and to get out of the firing range you just hit that same start button and it will bring you back to your custom class menu so this is really cool I really love this feature it's amazing how they allowed you to do this just to test out the recoil say you're using a sniper rifle and you want to see if you can quick scope which I'm not very good at in this game but uh, you can quick scope and you can really just test out everything about that gun which is really nice. It allows you just to get like a little feel before for it, so you don't waste a whole game using it or have to rage quit a game or something. Which is an awesome feature. So I'm really happy that Sledgehammer decided to put this in. It's really innovative. Coming in at number three is actually you go to your uh, operator menu and you can change your gender, just like Call of Duty Ghosts, and you can select different cards for what your face will look like and. Also, what's really cool is you have custom classes for your operators. You can change different looks and toggle those different custom classes by hitting X, as you see right there. That's really cool. I have two built right now. Uh, it's actually amazing, and you can edit everything about your character pretty much from this menu. So that is really, really helpful um, when it comes for customization, just aesthetic looks, not actual gameplay. None of this affects your gameplay, but it's all aesthetics. Coming in at number two, as I said before, guys, these are in no particular order of coolness or badassness, I guess you could say, but I'm just listing them. You do have this armory section, and when you receive supply drops, you can pick up these uh, custom custom variations of guns, custom, custom loadouts, and it's really quite cool, and you can uh, sort them by rarity, obviously... Uh, we have rarity going from elite professional to enlisted to no rarity so and you can also sell these for xp elite tends to go for two thousand professional tends to go for a thousand and uh... regular or enlisted tends to go for five hundred so you can sell that for xp it's in the long run it's not that much xp but you do have limited slots you have I don't know how many slots I'm running pretty low, so I'm going to have to sell some stuff. But that's really cool that the uh, they added this. And you can sort it by type, not just like clothing. It'll actually sort it by gloves, boots, helmets, exos, guns, ARs, uh, snipers, all that stuff. So that's really cool. I love how they added Alright guys, last but not least, we have this lobby menu. This works in multiplayer lobby, main menu just partying up as I'm in right now. But you can change what gun your soldier holds in the lobby for everybody else to see by just editing the last class. Or just editing a class and that last class that you edited will show up. You can also look at other people's soldiers. You can not only see what gun they have by just looking at it, it'll show you their primary weapon, their sidearm. 
even what gear they have. So it's kind of a way to show off your gear if you want to put on all elite gear and have that just be in the lobby and people will see, damn, this guy's a badass. He has all elite gear. I don't know. Maybe that's what they'll think. Maybe they'll think he's just a try hard, but whatever. Um, Unfortunately, this doesn't show the la uh, the attachments on the guns. It'll just show the guns, but it still gives you like a little sneak peek of what they might be using, what they've last worked on. So you can definitely maybe tell if they're planning on sniping using the EM1, maybe the uh, Moors, or sorry, the EM1s and LMG. But it'll definitely tell you the uh, tell you what they could be using. So that's a really cool feature for Sledgehammer to add, and I'm really psyched for this game in the future. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, a comment, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified whenever I upload more awesome Advanced Warfare content, which I will be in the future. Anyways guys, my name is Lucas the Candyman Cant, and thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you next video.